name is Dennis Martinez. I'm from Riverside, California. And we have a 1948 GMC ACR 723. It has a 426 cubic inch engine, a 5 and a 3 transmission, and a double reduction rear end. It's pretty much stock. Of course, the interior has been redone. It's been all reupholstered, headliner put in. How long have you had this truck? Well, I've had it for about 21, 22 years. I restored it, finished it in 04, and took it to Fontana to the, my first national show, and which was right here close by. And <laughs> partially you bought it so you could haul around tractors, right? Right. And then I you acquired it. more trucks. <laughs> right, right. At F Fontana, I bought a truck there on the auction, a 46 GMC long nose Jimmy. This is a gas truck gas engine and I bought the 970 it was a 671 Detroit a five and a three a three axle truck were you looking for a GM truck specifically yes I was yeah. I'm into the GMCs yeah. yeah of course we have we have a Mac which <laughs> but <laughs> that's we, another uh, everything, subject <laughs> everything, yeah that's another subject but everything else is GMC <laughs> mm -hmm. any particular reason I don't know. <laughs> you just like them. I just like the GMC. I, well, I kind of fell in love with the uh, long nose GMC, and that's what I wanted when I bought this, but you know, I just happened to come across this one. A friend of mine who lives up in the high desert was over one day, and I said, I'm looking for you know a GMC. If you ever see something out in the desert where you live, go, yeah, I'll let you know. Well, he calls me I don't know, a month or so later. Hey, this truck just came up on the side of the road for sale, and I think it's something that you're looking for. So I said, okay, I'll go up and look at it. So I went up, and it was a GMC. It was the style I was looking for. It wasn't the diesel. It was a gas truck. Was it in good shape when you got it? Oh, no, it was a rough shape. It didn't run. The guy had it. I said he'd had it for about five years. He got it from somebody. I don't know how it got it. But the truck had MGM Studio on the doors with the lion head. So I'm sure it was a studio truck. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. The guy wanted $1,500 for it. And I said, I'll give you seven fifty. And he says, okay, I'll take it. What? <laughs> he said, well, give me $500 now and then I'll... You know, I need to get the paperwork. I don't have the paperwork. I'll get it and give me the rest. She said, you know, you can take the truck. So I took the truck. He never gave me the paperwork, so I got it for 500 bucks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a problem out here, not having well, been able to... Yeah, well, you can, you can get around it. I mean, I just had to have it. Just the don't get vin vin well, <laughs> well, I didn't drive it. I had, it, had to hire somebody to haul it to my house. You know, tow truck or whatever, they came and picked it up. And then uh, I, uh, I just got a VIN verification and then turned it all in to state and got it, got it titled. I painted it myself and everything. I did body work and primer it and painted it in my backyard. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's the way it's been. Paint's still on there. hasn't fallen off yet. What's the significance <laughs> for what's on the door? I uh, had it rented out to a movie studio for a series on the Paramount Channel. And they used the truck in a couple of scenes. And so they put that and on the door? And they put that on the door. Here. But it's a decal. It'll probably come off. But yeah. And, uh, I mean, you bought it for $500. <laughs> what can you expect? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. The original fuel tank was underneath the seat actually right behind the seat running i put an ellis uh, two car manifold on it which is aftermarket in the day ellis made uh, manifolds for the old gas trucks for all the different uh, manufacturers you know so international gmc mac or whatever so it has a two car manifold and then it had custom headers made for it so i put those uh, bigger tanks on it those are actually off a of freightliner they look okay <laughs> The original tanks kept following up my carburetor, so I had to go. <laughs> backward from all the other brownies. So the early GMCs, up to the time they came out with the H model, this is an ACR 723. The brownie pattern is just completely reversed from the other brownies. And was that something you discovered while you were driving it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I heard about it before. Some old guys knew about it and said, you know, that's, that's probably got the back of brownie in it. And I go, sure enough, it does. <laughs>
Is this a party truck? It has a cooler. Oh, the cooler on there is just because there's no room to haul anything in this. So when I'm going someplace, I just put throw that stuff on in there. there. Yeah. 